How do you become a better programmer? This is a question I get a lot. It is something that everyone needs to know regardless of what skill level they are as a programmer. And I'm gonna tell you how in just a second. And you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna be dropping some really useful tips that I think you're gonna find that are gonna help you to make more money as a software developer or a programmer and to really advance your career. Hey, what's up? I'm John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com and today I'm going to be answering a question about how to become a better programmer. He says, hey John, I know you don't make videos relating to CS anymore. Well, actually I do. <laughs> just on this channel, just not on the Bulldog Mindset channel. Uh, but I was wondering if you could give me some tips on how I could become a better programmer. I'm a current sophomore majoring in computer science at a school in Texas that is very well reputed for computer science and engineering. However, I feel like I have put in minimal effort outside of my classes to become better at programming. Well, here we go. You're kind of solving your own problem here, all right? A lot of my peers are already developing apps, machine learning algorithms, and VR games, while I still feel like I'm not skilled enough to do those. Is it possible for you to tell me a general outline of how I could go essentially, uh, or how I could essentially go from a tech virgin to a tech chad? <laughs> First of all, within this, this question is part of the answer, right? He says that a, a lot of my, my, my fellow students are doing things outside of class, right? In fact, I want to see what he said here. He said, a lot of my peers are already developing apps, machine learning algorithms, and VR games, while I still feel like I'm not skilled enough to do those. One of the big things that you need to understand in life that's really important is you need to jump into things before you're ready. One of the fastest ways, okay, that you're gonna learn anything in life and that you're going to increase your skill is to put yourself into a position where you're not ready for the thing that's about to come and you're probably going to fail or experience failure. This is really hard to do. It's difficult to do. But when you do this, that's when you experience perhaps the largest amount of growth, even though it's uncomfortable. And the reason why is because you figure out what you don't know, okay? And you just you just have a huge amount of learning when, when something is beyond your capability. Now, to progress at something, we wanna do things that are slightly above our capability, right? Or just within reach of our capability, right? There's sort of this curve, you may have seen it online. I don't know if we can get the diagram. I forget exactly what that, that curve is called, but essentially you want things that are uh, enough of a challenge, right? Where they are not discouraging to you, okay? And they're they're not too easy where they're not where, where it's the, it's boring, right? So it's just enough of a challenge where you could just barely do it, right? And you always want to be finding things in that range. That's that's the thing here, is right. So yes, you may not feel like you can develop a VR app or an AI app or a machine learning app uh, or anything in in your side project, but do it. Go and do it. Go and try and make the thing, right? When I first started programming, one of the things that really got my uh, my skills up was tackling stuff I was not ready for, right? I said, I'm gonna make a game when I had not made any kind of game before, and I just downloaded the the software. I was using, I think, what was it, like Mono Game at that time and, and whatnot. The technology doesn't really matter. But my point is, like I downloaded it, I went through some tutorials, I figured it out, and bam, I made a game, right? Like, it was hard, it was challenging, I didn't know what I was doing. When I first wanted to create an Android application, right? That was one of the things that really, like, boosted my career more than anything else was going through that process and doing that. But I did the thing that was, that I didn't know how to do, that I wasn't ready and qualified for, but I committed to it. You have to commit to this stuff, you have to go out there, and you have to, like, go, go ahead and get in over your head. It's okay, it's okay to do things that you're likely to fail at. It's okay to do things that are challenging, that are above your skill level, and you need to do those things in order to grow. I guarantee you, if you play someone who's really good okay? You are going to learn a lot. It's going to show you how bad you are and you're going to learn a lot because the challenge is, is so great. Whereas if you play people at your same skill level, you're not really going to advance. So what you need to do is you need to figure out some projects 
that you can work on to, to get your skill level up. The other thing, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm harping on this one point because I think this is most important, but you need to be applying yourself in the classes. You need to be busting ass. How you do one thing is how you do everything, right? You need to remember this shit in life because it's important. You, you got to like apply yourself 100%, like you're gonna die tomorrow in everything you do. When I'm recording this video right now, I am not holding back. I am giving you 100%, why? Because I'm going to live my life that way, okay? Because I don't want to waste my fucking time getting mediocre results and you're gonna waste your time and you're gonna get mediocre results <clears throat> if you only put in a mediocre effort. You gotta put in the full thing. You gotta fully commit to the stuff that you're doing. So when you're doing your schoolwork, do it the best as possible, okay? Give it the your all. Don't goof off. Make sure you get that done. When you're doing stuff outside of school, challenge yourself. Push that as far as you can, okay? That's what's going to turn you into the superior program. Have the bar high, right? Like I said, when I ran that marathon, I set that bar really high. I made it so that, you know, it, it's a decent, t respectable time for anyone now that that time that I'd, I'd set for my goal. But, you know, it's not expected of someone that weighs 220 pounds to be able to freaking run under a four-hour marathon or even run one at all. But I set that bar high so that I would have to rise that. And my fitness level had to rise to that, right, in order for me to achieve that. So don't sell yourself short. Again, if you want to say you want to be a tech chad, well, what does a tech chad do? Okay, what does he do? Do what he does. If you want to be an Olympic swimmer, do what, 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 what's his name? Jason Phelps does. Okay, if you do what Jason Phelps does for workouts and training, you will be an Olympic swimmer as well. You might not beat him, you might not be, be as good as him, but if you did that, you would be him, right? If you want to be Kobe Bryant, do what Kobe Bryant does, okay? Read up on Kobe, Kobe Bryant and how he focused, how much practice he did. If you do his routine, you will eventually become Kobe Bryant. This is not bullshit. This is not a false fantasy. This is the truth of the situation. If you haven't already, read read this book. I know I'm plugging my own book here, but The Complete Software Developer Career Guide. It's a, Look at this. It's a big tome. You know, I, I can give you as much advice as I can on this YouTube channel, and I, I'll give it to you for free, obviously. But I think the book is like, what, the Kindle version is like $4.99 or $3.99 on, on Amazon, and you can buy the print version for like 20 bucks. And there's an audio, get the audio version. For, like, if you're lazy, it's it's just one audible credit, and it's like 23 hours worth of audio. I go through all this stuff. I teach you how to enhance your career, how to boost your career, how to, you know, how to market yourself, how to advance uh, technically, and how to figure out the next thing to tackle, and how to do side projects, and all of this stuff. It's all covered in that book because it's supposed to be the complete software developer's career guide, everything that you need. And I've got one last tip for you also. If you haven't already, check out our member area on Simple Programmer. I'll put the link here. The link for the book will be here in the cards as well and in the description. But if you join the membership area, you're going to find people, okay, that have that are going to be help able to help you to advance to the next level, right? So if you want to figure out, and plus you're going to find people that will do projects with you, right? So it, it's really great if you can have some help, right? If you want to create, like, let's say a VR game or something, there's someone in the member area, I guarantee you, that has some experience doing that that would also like to do that, right? And so join, join the member area. Just go to simpleprogrammer.com or, you know, through the, through the link in there. And there's a wait list, but when we reopen it, we'll give you a chance to join and you know connect with these people right it's a small cost but it's going to help you to be able to advance your career like having these peer groups that that's the biggest hack in life is finding people that want that know what you want to do that already are doing it successfully and then tagging along with them right or joining together banding together and accomplishing these things together right you you'll find that the highest level athletes the highest level performing people that they they're in bands they're in bands together right they're literally banded together and hang out together and that's how they get so good right so anyway that's all i got for you guys today if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button down below click the bell so you don't miss any videos on this channel got a lot of of good stuff planned for you guys here and i will talk to you next time take care